Let me tell you something you already know. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place, and I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, or nobody is gonna hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Morning, day one. Lake Champlain, right before the storm hits. It's the calm before the storm. Literally, the windstorm. That's all that's on my mind. Can I get to my fish? I can get to my fish, but I can't move like I did all practice. So, hopefully make the right decisions, pick the right spot at the right time, and uh, get us 19 pounds. I need 19 pounds. 17 kind of keeps us in the game, but anything below that, and you just drop the ball. So, that's where we're at. Lake Champlain, big smallmouth. Maybe a couple largemouth mixed in, but if we do, it'll be a fluke. One small mouth fishing. Day one game plan is going to be all about the weather and adjusting to it, not, not freaking out when it screws things up. We got five spots that have good fish around, and that's it. I don't really have a pattern except five spots, and I think the wind's going to destroy about three of them. So it only leaves me with two. But this morning, the wind hasn't started blowing yet, so we're going to go hit the spots where the wind's going to be killing, where we might not be able to fish it for the rest of the tournament. First thing in the morning. And then it's going to be, you know, practice. You can bounce around, you can go here, go there, go anywhere. It's not going to be like that today. Try to keep our head on straight. Don't let too much pressure get to us. Fish free and enjoy Champlain. Enjoy the beauty of Champlain, man. This is a beautiful place. Regardless of what happens, even if I come in with 12 to 15 pounds today, I'm catching smallmouth, and they're fun, and they jump like crazy. So I'm going to just enjoy the day and see what, see what it brings me. It's not like that Oh, my God. 
worse, you're just going to have to rip out here. You can't, you can't go scoping.
He's an Elite Series rookie from Oklahoma, John Sokup. Every morning at the mine, you can see him arrive. He's Five fish for John Sokup here today. 45, kind of broad at the shoulder and narrow at the hip. And everybody knew you didn't give no lip to Big Five John. fish here on day number one. Stop number eight of his rookie season. 11 pounds, 10 ounces, puts you in 43rd place currently. So a tough day, but a lot of anglers had a tough day, but no extra charge for the free boat ride. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm just I'm just not good enough. I gotta, I gotta practice. This, uh, I'm not good at this wind and the deep water and opening up. That's my first time to be up north uh, chasing smallmouth with all that wind. So that threw me for a little bit of a loop, and I guess tomorrow I'll have another day of practice, and hopefully we can come in with a bigger set. Looking forward to seeing you back here. We decided that John has a sensitive face. Then after we talked about it, I don't know that so much you have a sensitive face, dude. I think that would drive me crazy too. It would hurt. Well, my head is designed that my hat blows off at five miles an hour. My head is too. <laughs> it doesn't. I don't have to wait until I'm on pad. Basically, as I take off pad, yeah. at some point I hit five miles an hour and the hat goes. Doof. Yeah. Yeah. Shoot, it happened to me in, uh, yesterday in the tournament, just standing on the boat. It went off. Yeah, the wind, the wind blew. <laughs> It won't all come off since that sucker down. I mean, I'm talking. I mean, <coughs> and it, it won't. It won't all come off. And he'll be like, "Man, I bet you home is genius." I've been running around. I've been, I've been devising a face net, a head net plan, because if you take the the hat and put it in front of your face, you know, it kind of blocks the rain. But what if I have a head net, put it on one of those beekeepers? Mm -hmm. Maybe that would block some of it. It is. I'm just sensitive. I do not like running in the rain. I don't like anything about the rain anymore. Have you seen the weather this radar this morning? It's going to rain an inch over the next seven hours. Yeah, there's no rain. It's not raining right now. It's dry as a bone. Hey, what, what do you remember from practice today with raining? What, I caught him out deep still, but it was calm. I remember it was calm. What day did it rain? I was trying to think of that too. It, it rained on day two of practice. What not remember? Why am I wearing glasses and contacts? This is why I have to get up and be up for a little bit. I can't just wake up and I'm into it. I'm wearing cop glasses and contacts because I'm asleep. I pretty much just wake up ready to fight, like for a instantly. I've noticed. Yeah. I think you sleep in your jersey and your pants and your hat. That's what I've decided. I'm more. It's more like Superman. I just kind of walk in, put on my cape, and walk out. <laughs> <laughs> thinking I'm gonna pick a couple areas and just keep the trolling motor down. I made a Saturday cut. Due to the possibility of severe thunderstorms and south winds gusting up to 25 MPH, Bass is selected to postpone today. Full field Saturday, excluding John Soka. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Top 50 Sunday. And top 10 Monday, Lake Champlain is off limits today. Ooh, so they pushed it back a whole day. So that's going to get into practice over at... Uh... No, it must be the top 10 minutes practice. I know it's nice that you think that way, but... You hit. You catch them, and you don't, you get penalized. You get penalized. That, that's, that stinks. Yeah. But... I mean, I, I agree. You would think it would start off a day later there, but it won't. I just like how Bass listens to my sensitivities, my facial sensitivities, knowing that I was going to get hit in the face with the rain and that it was going to make my eyes tear up and I was going to water and cry a little bit. I went out of the way. And they said, no, we're not going to do that to John. He's had enough this year. That lady was screaming. She was on the lawnmower out there yesterday and I heard her go, whoa! I looked up when that motorcycle went flying by. You drive 90 on a motorcycle, you gotta be prepared for stuff like that. That probably happens every day with that guy. Interesting. They got a little map in here, the pin of it, if you come from a city. <clears throat> you can put a pin up there, and I didn't see one in that from Edmund. Good man, slaw dogs, chili dogs. It was worth it. 
I'm ready to go back and get to work. Bro. Day number two, and it's a Saturday. <laughs> and somehow we got a roll from day to day, so. Somehow I made the Saturday cut. Observing the weather. Observing the weather. <laughs> so we're all fishing today, Saturday. And uh, <coughs> let's go catch some bass. Day three. Minus day two. So it's day one. <laughs> so day two. Day two, after cancellation, getting ready to launch. And uh, wind seemed good, so I might have a little bit of a free, free run. It's supposed to get out of the west today, so that's what we're excited for. Get out here, do a little redemption, watch Bradley catch 20 pounds, make it day three. But whatever happens today, I'm probably uh, probably sitting at home tomorrow. So this is a little bit of a learning experience today. Maybe go fish some new water all day long.
unfortunately he touches. Somebody else's lure in his mouth.
John Sokup. Every morning at 11 pounds, 10 ounces yesterday. Five to add to that here today. 11, 10 yesterday. Today, five fish. All a lie. Just like all the other fish, gonna go for a ride in our Yamaha Avco live release boat. 14 pounds, five ounces today. Gives them 25.15, so a little short of the cut this time around, but going to one of the most phenomenal fisheries on earth next week and uh, nothing to do but swing. Yeah, you're really sweet with those words. That's a lot shorter than a little bit from the cut. Uh, you know, today I went swinging for it and I, I mean, I didn't, I just never saw anything good enough. So, I mean, I, I'm happy. I enjoy what I'm doing. You know, we make a lot of sacrifices to come out here, but really my wife, Molly and the kids, they make just as much, if not more sacrifices. So. Give me an opportunity to live the dream. So I got two years here to try to prove myself. And, you know, next year is going to be this year's like a rebuilding, learning a lot of experiences, man, a lot of things I can try to put to next year. And St. Lawrence, I've, I've been up there. I've been up there, dealt with that current. I'm not confident with that. I'm hoping that I was going to be able to get to the lake with two days of practice. So it's just going to be more of a challenge. But I'm really excited to go out there. Last time I was there, I caught like a 675 smallmouth. So hopefully we can do some more big fish catching. Get them next week. I look forward to seeing you there. So, Champlain, although I went out and caught three more pounds than I did on day one, we were just so far in the hole. It didn't matter. We ended up it was exactly where we were at after day one, ended up 92nd place. Another extremely, extremely, extremely disappointing tournament finish. Um, you know, we caught them really, really good in practice, to be honest with you. I mean, I could catch them however I wanted to in practice. And uh, the one thing that I wish I had done or seen has gone over to that other side of the lake because it went down and basically the only section of that part of the lake that I didn't even spend time making a cast. I, I did some graphing around there, checked some spots that way, and it's just a completely different world. And you know, you watch the live and you see the hundreds of fish that these guys are casting at. I was lucky to find two or three fish together. Um, so, you know, by the time day two came around, I was so far down in the standings, I just felt uncomfortable going over to that section of the lake where it was obvious it was going down at and trying to take any fish from guys that actually have a chance at maybe making a classic cut or fishing for AOI or ROI or anything like that. And so, you know, I, I ran around, tried to find some fish in the morning, spent some time in open water, and then ended up running some of the same things that I had fished on day one at the very end of the day. Going back to some of those docks, you guys will see catching two or three fish really, really quickly. Uh, cold a couple times, but this when it's when it's said and done, it wasn't good enough. But one thing you'll see that's in the video that's pretty cool. Uh, it's a small victory. Is you know I get back to take off uh, with about three minutes to check in, and I drop the trolling motor and start looking around, fan around, and boom, there's a fish. Throw out there, hook it. I know it's a good one. I crank it in as fast as I've caught any three and a half pounder before. Throw it in the box coal fish and I mean I idle to check in with like 30 seconds so you know there is really no time to ever give up because if I had gone in there just a little bit more caught another fish who knows if it was a big one it's just going to be a little bit of a reminder to me to always keep fight, keep fighting keep casting keep trying to do everything we can so from Champlain that's enough a wrap but we're on now back to back tournaments going to the St. Lawrence River and it is the final event of the year it is probably, in my mind, the hardest of all the events for me to win or to understand or to know or unlock because I've never been on the lake. And it is big and we've only got two days of practice. But the opportunity is there. This is a win and you're in event. It's the only winning event of the year. Somehow we pull off a miracle and win this. We could be going to the Bassmaster Classic. So everything else right now is put behind me. I'm looking forward to this opportunity, potentially to go to the Bassmaster Classic. This is the only opportunity left for the year. So we're gonna see how we do.